I'm stunned. It's, it's, it's all true. It is. <laughs> but the thing, that, the thing that freaks me most, may I say, he doesn't have a willy. <laughs> well, I mean, he does not need one. <laughs> Please explain. <laughs> I mean, you can't improve on perfect. Why bother to continue the gene if essentially we've already got there? This is the end point. Why reproduce? <laughs> <laughs> I've got a question. Sure. If sexual selection is guiding this process, mm -hmm. what do you propose that we do with the women who continue to mate with the lame, hairy heads? Well, I, I know it's a big question. I thought about it for many, many nights. Um. <laughs> <laughs> well. <laughs> I, I, think, um, I think eventually the fact that um, those men will get so dumb that they will eventually self-select out of the equation before that even happens. I mean, they meet a girl, try and impress them. Within hours, they've killed themselves um, <laughs> trying to climb something or fight something big. At that point, they can't, they can't continue that. Perfect. So essentially, yes, it'll be fine. It'll work itself out. Um, very, very interesting piece of research. I, I would like to challenge the very assumptions of your research, though. Please. Um, your research. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> so, you're assuming that uh, uh, men are getting dumber, but what if females are getting smarter? Mm, that's very true. Well, in that case, it's simply just the inverse of this, but in the sense that we have to keep up with you guys. Yeah. And if we're, if we're still staying on the same trajectory of being the biggest, boldest, um, and, and dumbest, it's not going to work. Um, we have to catch up, and um, it's going to be a difficult time, and that, that's all I've got to say there. Um, <laughs> that, that's, <laughs> that's the point of <laughs> diminishing returns, I think. <laughs> what you've all got look forward to, boys. <laughs> See a big, shiny, floaty man with no willy. <laughs>